one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other. Sing it again, sing it again. You gotta put one foot in front of the other. Take your music out. You came to a concert where you singing too. One more time. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot. Don't give up hope. You're not alone. Don't you give up. Keep moving on. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. You gotta put one foot in front of the other. Come on now, sing with us today. Don't make me come off this stage. I know you're scared, and I'm scared too. But here I am, right next to you. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put. Get up on your feet today, everybody. Come on up on the feet. Stand up, everybody. Clap. Look at your neighbor. Dance around the Ord way today. Come on now. Don't give up hope. You're not alone. Don't you give up. Keep moving on. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. You gotta put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. Put one foot in front of the other and lead with love. And lead with love. And lead with Harmonize with us. And lead with love. And lead with love. And lead with love, and lead with love, and lead with love, and lead with. Come on, y'all! And lead with love, and lead with love, and lead with love, and lead with love. Show up. We've each been called to this place, this time, and this season. You may not yet know the rhyme or the reason. You may not feel, think, or believe in the same things I believe in. But we've been asked to show up. Show up wherever you are from. You can come here to be free. Bring your full self, both your head and your heart, your hands and your feet, and anything and everything, infinitely beyond any duality, your sexuality, gender, race, age, or ability, we all have the ability to be. Without you, I am incomplete. Without you, there is no we. I need you not just to survive, but to thrive, to come fully awake and alive with potential and possibility. Join me at the table, for it is wide and there is lots of food to eat. So show up and be fed and feed others, satiating a different kind of hunger, fueling the fire in our bellies. No matter what journey you're on, where you've been, or what you've done, all will be well when we're all welcome. To laugh, cry, dance, write, breathe, and bleed into the margins, and follow the call to the farthest reaches of who we are. Whether you run, walk, crawl, even if you fall, we fall in love, but just show up. Show up to answer the prophetic call to justice, to transform both the soul and the bodily world the soul inhabits. Show up with all your awkwardness and bad habits. Show up with your doubts and questions, knowing here you can ask them. Show up with your wounds and your scars. We all have baggage. But you know that together, we can unpack them. This is no mistake. You are not here by accident. You're here to share the stories of your sacred passage. You are the only you that ever has been. You are not the magician. You are the magic. So show up 
to this place here where there's no grace period, there's only grace, period. Bring your fears and insecurities. Let us marvel in the mystery. Let us listen to each other to life with a deep, holy listening. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? That's the sound of the genuine within you. The spirit stirring near you, but if you don't show up, how can anyone hear you? Show up. Even if you don't know for certain, you may have the truth and healing for which this world is searching. In this grand universe, we are but small workers with a big purpose because of our hearts widening the circle. Hearts that are broken, hearts that are open so a little light can shine through, a little hope for the hopeless. Wherever you go, simply know the spirit of this place goes with you. So go. Ready with sleeves rolled up, always growing, never fully grown up. Ready with all your heart, mind, body, and soul, simply to show up. We are, we are frightened, we are angry, we are, angry. We are rising, we are hopeful, we are peaceful, we are striving, won't stop fighting. Won't stop, Won't stop marching. Won't stop dreaming. Won't stop dreaming. Won't stop loving. Won't stop loving. And proclaiming. And proclaiming. And believing. Our voices are united louder than hate. We have gathered here, we've had all we can take. The time has come, you will hear our call. We're fighting for liberty and Sing with us. We are frightened, we are angry. We are, we are rising, we are hopeful, we are, we are, peaceful. We are peaceful, we are striving, we are striving. Won't, stop fighting. won't stop fighting, won't stop marching, won't stop, marching. Won't stop dreaming. Won't stop, Won't stop loving and proclaiming and, proclaiming and, believing. and believing. Our voices are united. Our voices are united louder than hate. We have gathered here. We've had all we can take. The time has come. You will hear our call. We're fighting for liberty. Sing it like y'all mean it. We are frightened now. We are frightened. We are angry. We are rising. We are hopeful. We are peaceful, we are striving, won't stop fighting, won't stop marching, won't stop dreaming, won't stop loving and proclaiming and believing. voices are united louder than hate we have gathered here we've 
had all we can take. The time has come, you will hear our call. We're fighting for liberty and justice for all. All of my songs, prayers, and positive vibes can't draw the eyes of the mama who cries. Because the violence in the skies can make her sun rise. Too many times he's been tried, persecuted, and crucified. Why does it feel like these rivers of justice must have run dry? We don't know who to trust, can tell the truth from the lies. When grieving the loss of life, we still can't decide who lacks humanity or whose humanity is denied. But hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. That's the only thing that we know how to do. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. The God in me needs the God in you. Black or gay, some may hate us for the way God made us. And although our scars come from different places, we can't let our differences be what separates us. We must start the healing and stop the heartbreaking. We need each other for our collective liberation. When this nation tries to detain us in a mental state, penitentiary, we've been debased to a base meant to be homeless and hopeless and prone to starvation. And laid in a bed of cardboard and cold hard pavement, we try to do right with nothing left but desperation. We feel forsaken, lost, and naked in a place of desolation, like a desert wasteland, lame and lamenting, restly wrestling, questioning if we'll ever get restoration. Impatient waiting for rescuing, oppressed, we press pain, slaked with the aching pain we're plagued with. Chasing the same world, the circle is draining, frustrating. We're not just complaining or venting when there's hyperventilation, when our lungs are simply stretching, straining for the breath to sustain them. We care less about reparations or systemic reformation when the birth pangs of death are banging at our chest. The only help that really helps is direct resuscitation. But hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. That's the only thing that we know how to do. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. The God in me needs the God in you. I'm too tired to sleep. My eyes are cried out, they're too dry to weep. More of my strength seems to die every week. And I want to scream every time that I speak. But hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. That's the only thing that we know how to do. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. Hold on to me, and I'll hold on to you. The God in me needs the God in you. So hold on, my people, hold on. Stay strong, my people, stay strong. Keep on, my people, keep on. It won't be long until our kingdom comes. Hold on, my people, hold on. Stay strong, my people. Stay strong. Keep on, my people. Keep on. It won't be long until our freedom comes.
with faith in God and belief in the moral power of righteousness. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. lit a candle whose flame grew little by little, demonstration by demonstration, and march by march into an illuminating fire of Olympian proportions. His fire was, was lit by America, came to see both the sins of its racial past and the promise of a future big enough to encompass the dreams and gifts of all. Dr. King would have been the first to acknowledge that he was only holding up a torch that long before. A fire of faith passed on the words of spirituals that were first sung during the time of enslavement. His ringing oratorical eloquence frequently employed phrases and images from songs that had buoyed and boistered the spirits of those who came before him. The spirituals had a home in his heart. So it was no accident that Dr. King made his bow unto the Lord and never turned back. Just like you To see what the end will be I moaned and I moaned Till I came through To see what the end will be Oh my dear And every star refused to shine To see what the end will be I know King Jesus will Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. appeared on the world stage at an hour when the darkness was deep. A people who nearly a century earlier had been freed from the shackles of slavery found themselves still bound in a myriad of unjust laws and entrenched social customs. When the most affluent society on earth sat down at the table of plenty, the sons and daughters of Africa, assisted with the preparing of the feast and with the cleaning up afterward, but they were denied seats at the banquet table. The darkness of despair rolled in like a thick fog, obscuring the path to freedom, justice, an equal opportunity. In this climate of near hopelessness, when the incendiary mixture of fear and frustration need only the slightest spark 
to ignite into violence, a new light appeared. A young Baptist minister who had studied the nonviolent philosophy of Mohandas Gandhi and taken to heart saw in nonviolent resistance the tool needed to move a nation out of the perplexing maze of racial injustice and onto the simple pathway of peace. Much has changed in the decades since Dr. King's death. Although it seems at times too much has stayed the same. It's been said that as long as he's seen chiefly as a hero for African Americans, the breadth and magnitude of his contributions will have been missed. For he came to set us all free of the suffocating effects of bigotry and intolerance. America would have little basis for exerting moral leadership in the world if it had not come so far toward the eradication of its own brand of apartheid at home. Still, many battles are yet unknown in the war Dr. King died fighting. Wherever the struggle for justice, equality, and dignity continues to be waged without recourse of bullets and bombs, his light still shines. And those today who take up the challenge of overcoming hatred with love are responding, as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did, to the clarion call of the old spiritual that said, hold on your light, you heaven-bound soldiers. Hold out your light, and let your light shine around the world. See you. 
With this faith, we shall be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation to a beautiful symphony of brotherhood from every mountainside. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring. Let freedom ring. Oh. 
total liberation. I confess and repent for all the ways in which I've been complacent and complicit in a system meant to benefit only white cishet men. My heart breaks again and again for how God's name was and is used to call both of us a sin. But our pain is not the same. Our wounds come from different blows. But there is a hope for liberation burning deep down in all of our souls. Total liberation. Although our struggles are different, our humanity is indivisible. We are all created in God's image, and I see God's image within you. Anything otherwise is a lie. It just isn't true. Still I rise, but only as high as I lift you. Heart to heart, eye to eye, I walk alongside, not against you. I won't speak for you, but I will speak out with you. Together, we'll tear down every racist, homophobic structure and institute, and we'll dance and sing with each other, just like a family is meant to do. Here until the end, with our fists and spirits lifted, here since the beginning, our mere existence is resistance. Like linked arm in arm, we'll keep each other safe from harm. Guided by hope's spark, we'll find a freedom in the dark. From fire hoses and snarling dogs rose marches and freedom songs. From brutal police raids rose protest parties and parades. Total liberation. For the fullness of this vision to ever be true, we need every gender, every orientation, every race, every hue. We need everyone we got, especially you. We need you to be authentically, unapologetically you. For total liberation. No more hatred, no more bigotry, no more discrimination, total liberation. We are beloved, we are sacred, we are a celebration. And the only thing that unites us more than what we fight against is what we're fighting for. Total liberation, total liberation, total liberation.
you know you got to sing one more time now. <laughs> you know we got to get you singing. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round, turn me round, turn me round. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching up to freedom land. I think we can do better than that, y'all. Let me hear those outdoor voices. Let's try that again. <laughs> Ain't gonna let nobody. Turn me round. There we go. Turn me round. Ain't gonna let nobody. Turn me round. Keep on a walking. Keep on a talking. Marching up. Ain't gonna let racism turn me round, turn me round, turn me round. Ain't gonna let racism turn me round. Keep on a walking, keep on a talking. Ain't gonna let no hatred turn me round. Turn me round, turn me round, ain't gonna let no hatred turn me round. Keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching up. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round, turn me round, turn me round, ain't gonna let nobody turn. Keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching up to freedom. Ain't gonna let nobody clap with us, y'all. Come on now. Turn me round, turn me round. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Keep on a walking, keep on a talking. One last time. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me. Stand up out the chairs, look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor, get on your feet, y'all. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Keep on a walking, keep on. Come on, come on. Ain't gonna let no hatred turn me round, turn me round. Turn me round, ain't gonna let no hatred turn me round. Keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching up to freedom land. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round, turn me round, turn me round. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Keep on a walking. Keep on a talking, marching up to freedom land. Been wounded, aching, heart full of pain. Just like a budding rose, my bloom is nourished by rain. Oh, have been time to wonder why the fearful I strive. Oh, my prayer and faith uphold me till my courage arrives.
Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jane Ramsey Miller. I'm the artistic director for One Voice Mixed Chorus and often on this stage, but tonight I get to enjoy the show with you, which is really fun. So um, uh, TESFA has been conducting One Voice for this past year because I have been on leave, but next year I just wanted to call attention to One Voice's programming. It's, there's a full calendar of our programs uh, on page five in your program, and I invite you to come back and be a part of our amazing season next year. Um, we also are offering flex tickets next year, and on the, at the One Voice table out there, you can sign up to get more information about flex tickets. Just fill out your name and address. Uh, it's not an order at this point, but fill out your name and address, and you will be the very first ones to get to be able to order flex tickets for next year and find out what they are. Okay. <laughs> So, we also have CDs, so take this fine group home with you, play them in your living room and your car and wherever else you are. We would love to have you leave with a CD. And if, um, if you don't want to take a program home, we ran out of programs, which is awesome. Thank you for filling the house. But if you feel like recycling them, then our singers can take one home as well, which is kind of nice. So, thank you. And um, I also just want to thank Tesfa, because this is um, his last official with us. So. Hi there, my name is Matt Ruby. I'm uh, a singer with the One Voice Mixed Chorus and a member of the board. Oh, that's pretty fancy. All right. <laughs> I gotta say, it's weird to come from all of that and just come down and chat. Um, are you guys having a good time here? Yes, I think so. So, Tesfa was warming us up 
uh, down in the green room yesterday, and he said, you know, the trip to being really great is about telling your story, and so I'm just going to tell a little briefing about my connection to One Voice. And um, started about a year and a half ago, we were living in Maine, knowing we were going to move to Minneapolis, and I really wanted to come here and sing. And the lovely civic-minded people, someone had created this web page listing all the great choruses of the Twin Cities. It's like 40 choruses, have you ever seen that? It's amazing. And so I got to go shopping. And to go to all these websites, and uh, after about 45 minutes, I stopped. I came across One Voice, I'm going through their site, and I'm just, you know, you get that feeling, it's sort of like when you meet a person, you start falling in love. You kind of get that feeling, I'm like, I think this feels pretty special. So um, we moved to Minneapolis, and I auditioned, and I'm at orientation. And orientation is typically a pretty uncomfortable sort of event you want to get through. If you've been through orientation at work and other things, and you just want to get to it. And I'm in there with six other singers, and I'm in with one of our great basses, an amazing person who said, you know, we're just sharing our stories, and she said, this is the first time in my life I'm going to sing as myself. And that's what happens with One Voice. And the mission of the One Voice Mixed Chorus is to build community and create social change by raising our voices in song. And we do that through these performances, through our Out in the Schools program, uh, through our tour each year. This year we went to St. Cloud, Wilmer, Northfield, and Faribault. And it's an incredible bunch of people to spend time with. So we need your support to keep doing this incredible work. And in borrowing Joe's words, you guys showed up here, and we are not complete without you. So I'm asking for your support. If you're feeling it here tonight, support it. And you'll see in your programs, there's an envelope. I brought a visual aid. <laughs> so grab that envelope and put something in it. Pay it forward. And if you want to, out in the lobby, there's a kiosk there where you can also give a gift to support One Voice. Just take a look at this group up here. I know you've seen a face up here where you've gone, I want to meet that person. <laughs> They're incredible. They truly are, and we get to spend two and a half hours a week every Monday together, which is awesome. So thank you for showing up here tonight. Thank you for supporting One Voice. And oh, thank you, Jane. <laughs> I was about to make. So this is a special day, too, because every dollar you give is going to be matched. Let me say that again. Every dollar you give is going to be matched. So you, if you can give a dollar, you just gave two dollars. You can give 50, you gave 100. If you can give 500, you've given 1,000. Support One Voice. Thank you, Jane. <laughs>
change the world. I would start by loving you. And if loving was all we knew, oh babe, we could change the If I wanted to change the world, I would start by loving you. And if loving was all we knew, oh babe, we could change the world. I would start by loving you. So you're about to experience the Midwest premiere of Quiet No More. Um, this, right? That's exciting. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. This eight movement work uh, was just recently performed at Carnegie Hall on Thursday night. Almost exactly 50 years from when the riots, the uprising began. And I just want to take a moment to uh, welcome some special guests that we have here. We have five choirs from Iowa, Nebraska, and Minnesota. Can we welcome our guest choir? Guest choir members, will you raise your hand? <laughs> and we also have one of the composers with us. And this composer is going to be a little bit embarrassed that I'm doing this, but where is Jane Ramsire Miller? Where's Jane? Is Jane in the house? Jane is probably out working somewhere. Come on out here. Get out here. J 
Jane is the composer of the final work, Speak Out. And you are expected, of course, Jane wrote it, so you're expected to sing. That's mandatory. So when we get to movement eight, be ready to sing. Use those outdoor voices that you practiced during the first half. Deal? Yeah. Deal? Yeah. Here we go. Quiet no more. It was the day. 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 It was the day everything changed. It was the day we stood up for ourselves. It was the day we said, enough is enough. It was the day we finally pushed it back. It was made into a movie with a whole lot of white people. It was a turning point for LGBTQ rights. Didn't it have something to rights. do with Judy Garland? I go to Stonewall every Monday for bingo. It had nothing to do with Judy Once Garland. Once these older guys came in, they cried and took the a lot of pictures. Started by drag it was started by trans people of color. It was started by a lesbian. Like, wow. Everything is always started by a lesbian. These guys sure love bingo. I was there when the cops busted in on the I was walking night. my dog. I was leaving Julius. I was walking home from Johnny's. I was visiting New York that week. I heard shit. The commotion was exhilarating. I walked down Waverly Street. I walked over the street. I went over to see what was going on. to see what the noise was. Someone threw a garbage can. We stopped the traffic on Christopher Street. I didn't think all the violence was necessary. The police were I armed. never stood still. I was afraid someone would I get shot. I from We linked arms and formed a kick line I'd right never in seen front so of many cops. gay people in one I've place. I've waiting for something like this to happen. Things are different then. It was the 60s. You figured out how to find other people a like you. A new place would open and word would spread. You could get arrested. You could lose your job. Some people were starting to fight back. The whole world was changing. It was fun. It was another time. It was another time. It was another time. It was another time. 1969, Greenwich Village, a neighborhood that never followed the rules, where Sheridan Square is a triangle. West 4th Street crosses West 10th, and Waverly Place runs one way in three different directions. <laughs> On the north side of Christopher Street, there's a low, uh, low brick building with plate glass windows that are boarded up from the inside. You wouldn't think it was anything except for the huge vertical sign that says Stonewall Inn. The building has been there forever, but the latest club was opened a few years ago by a guy called Fat Tony. Everyone knows he's associated with the Genovese crime family. He only opened Stonewall to make a buck from the fags, but hey, we take what we can get. <laughs> Some of the bars in the area lost their liquor licenses because state liquor authorities thinks being gay is the same as being disorderly. Fat Tony opened Stonewall as an unlicensed private bottle club, so he wouldn't need a liquor license. So he's, <laughs> he's not supposed to sell booze, but he pays the cops to look the other way. It's overpriced, past its prime, and attracts people who are too young, too loud, or just way too much. But Stonewall also has a dance floor. So if you want to sit quietly and sip tea with the aunties, mm. Julius is around the corner. If you want to shake your body to the groove of a Motown beat, Stonewall is where you go. Other clubs have music, 
but for my money, Stonewall is the only place you can dance. Stonewall has these big, heavy doors, and if they're closed, you gotta knock. You, pay, you come into a little lobby, and you pay a cover. One dollar. Ugh, such a ripoff. And it's three dollars on the weekends. Now, the bouncer looks through this tiny peephole, and if he recognizes you, he'll let you in. And he recognizes everybody. And you also have to sign a guest book, part of the charade of being a private club. But no one ever signs their real name. Miss Hepburn. <laughs> Miss Von Trapp. <laughs> Welcome to the Stonewall. in the lobby and we're about to be raided and it's been happening a lot this summer. NYPD, everybody line up, get your IDs out and keep them out until I say so and keep your mouths shut. the premises immediately. You two ladies, go over to that officer over there. Move! is guilty of loitering when he, being master in any matter disguised 
by unusual or unnatural attire or facial alteration, loiters, remains, or congregates in a public place with other persons so masked or disguised or knowingly permits or aids persons so masked or disguised to congregate in a public place except that such conduct is not unlawful when it occurs in connection with a masquerade party or a like entertainment. If when such entertainment is held in a city which has promulgated regulations uh, in connection with such affairs, permission is first obtained by the police or other appropriate authorities. In other words, Betty Blue does not like my summer ensemble. <laughs> we are the village girls. Runaways. Hustlers. Street trash. Go to rats. Get Care queens. 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 Swish queens. Commando queens. Miss Bass. Sisters. We wear our hair in curls. Our lips ow, in ow, pink. Ow, ow, our ow. cheeks in blush. Our shoes from the house of five and dime. We look good. Our dress from the window of the Hotel Albans. Ow, ow, ow. We wear our dungarees, dungarees above our scabby knees. <laughs> we live here. We live there. We live anywhere to hide from the world until morning. A bench. A doorway. A sofa. A floor. A hotel bed. Paid for by whatever we can take. Paid for by whomever we can take. Ow, ow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we are fabulous. fabulous. We, we are, are ambiguous. ambiguous. We, we are, are scarred. We are scared. We are, we are dressed up, decked out, low down, wound up, worn out, all in, shut down, turned out, made up, put out, face down, shut, shut up. up! We are tuned in, and we are taken in, and we are tossed out through a door that was never opened. Our home is where the heart is free. Our heart is where the soul can move. Our home is where the body can dance. <laughs> we, are we are unsafe. We, we are unsound. We, we are untethered. We, we are, are unbothered. These, These are our streets. This, this is, is our city. This is this our, is our home. home. We, we are, are the village girls. girls. Hey, Lily Law, if you show me your nightstick, I'll show you mine.
that gays and lesbians are productive members of society. When we fight for employment rights, we must look employable. Men should wear slacks and white ties with shirts. Women should wear skirts and dresses. Protests should be courteous and peaceful. If someone tries to initiate a fight, do not fight back.
at Stonewall is not only a place that you can dance, it's the only place in the city where you can ask someone to dance with you. And if they say yes, you can hold them close with their head against your chest. And if they say no, you have to slink back to your corner and watch them dance with somebody else and wonder why, why, why? What's wrong with me? You can feel your real feelings here. You get to be lovesick. You get to be nervous. You get to ache with longing for the person right in front of you who might want you back if you have the courage to ask. Your heart beats to its natural rhythm here.
And the very next day And the very next day I picked up the times Turned to page 33 And I walked, and I walked, and I walked, and I walked Down Astor past Washington Square I got to the bar and I thought, there we are In the glass, in the plaster, my people are there Four policemen hurt in a village raid That's all the Times wrote But still I, still I have my Come and join my victory parade I am not as lonely as I thought that I might be a broken wall, a wake-up call, and now I see we're there on page 33.
And the very next year And the very next year We gathered on Christopher Street We were hundreds strong and unabashed
I lay me down to sleeplessness. A parade of questions fills my mind, but no answer comes on how to leave the hate behind. Questions flatline my faith in mankind. What world are we in? Two steps forward, two steps back, please tell me. Where do we begin? What is this nation that I cherish? My country, tis of thee. A not sweet but bitter land besieged by bigotry. How many more marches to march, phone calls to make, hearts and minds to weigh? And the roses, but that enough is enough. How can we obey the hate? How can we What if truth is all we have? As we fight for right, some try to undo. What if truth is all we have? If we stand in our lives, can we get through? What if truth is all we have? Truth in the sea of lies, can our dreams come true? On the first night of the Stonewall Uprising, the tactical police force tried to disperse the crowd by forming a human wall on Christopher Street and marching the crowd west towards 7th Avenue. Instead of dispersing, the crowds ran around through the Greenwich Village side streets and regathered on Christopher Street behind the police. <laughs> the police turned around and marched the newly formed crowd east only to have the crowd circle around again and regather on Christopher Street behind the police. This happened several times. This 
will always happen. We will always be together. We will always find a way to be together, to speak out, to fight, to sing, to love. There is so much we can do. Today is always the day we can change the world. the things I cannot change. I'm changing the things I cannot accept. Angela Davis. Every moment is an organizing opportunity. Every person a potential activist. Every minute a chance to change the world. Dolores Huerta. I don't believe stand for freedom for one group of people and then deny it to others. Coretta Scott King. If you find yourself lost, go back to the last place where you knew who you were and start from there. Bernice Johnson Reagan. Freedom is never really won. You earn it and win it with every generation. Coretta Scott King. We need in every community a group of angelic troublemakers. Bayard Rustin. We must build dikes of courage to hold back the flood of fear, Martin Luther King Jr. If we laugh and sing a little as we fight the good fight of freedom, it makes it all go easier. Take care how you place your moccasins upon the earth, for the faces of future generations are looking up from the earth, waiting their turn for life. Wilma Mankiller. Speak up.
Soloists. Readers. I think before we let you out of here, we got to sing one more song. We got to sing one more. But we're singing it together. Give me an F. <laughs> we shall overcome. We shall overcome. Sing whatever harmony you want. We shall overcome. One more time. Look at your neighbor and sing these words. This will happen. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall. 